Dorothy, would you care to give an example of how Blanche is selfish? All right, fine. Let's say uh, about a month ago, I was not feeling very well. As a matter of fact, I was sick as a dog. We were supposed Oh, Dorothy, I'll be ready to go in just a minute. I had Hannah do my makeup while my pedicure was drying. So all I have to do is change my shoes. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I think I'm dying. <laughs> but then again, this 104 fever may be clouding my judgment. <laughs> Honey, look at what you're wearing. You can't go like that. Well, I think the funeral home has someone who handles that branch. <laughs> but thank you for caring. I'm talking about our double date. Good grief, this place looks like a hospital ward. Dorothy, don't you know Mike and Larry will be here any minute? Blanche, I can't go out tonight. Look at me. But Dorothy, you look much worse than this. <laughs> Remember that time you gave yourself a whole perm, burnt your hair right down to the roots, and ended up looking like buckwheat? <laughs> I meant, Blanche, that I am sick. I can barely stand. You'll just have to go on without me. Go on without you? Honey, this is not a wagon train. This is a double date. <laughs> It doesn't work that way. It's a both of us or nothing. Well, you'll just have to cancel your date, too. Cancel my date? With Larry? Oh, Dorothy, how long have you been inhaling this vapor rug? Larry! Dorothy, I have been waiting for Larry to ask me out ever since our eyes first met at Dell's Route 1 Chevron. <laughs> and I climbed up on the hood of his LeBaron and wrote my phone number on his windshield with the heel of my papagallo pump. Isn't that how Mrs. Simpson met the Duke of Windsor? Dorothy, you promised you would double date with Larry's friend, Mike. I am holding you to that promise. Blanche, I'm sick. Oh, you just have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just have a little tickle in your throat. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Jump uh, on. Come on, let's Blanche, go. please, please, my body aches. Well, so does mine, honey. That's why I want to go out on this day. Blanche, <laughs> I, I am miserable. It is mind over matter, Dorothy. Now, you can do it. You can get up off that couch. You feel better already. You're not sick anymore, Dorothy. You can heal yourself. Walk, Dorothy, walk. <laughs> hey, just because you put your makeup on with a butter knife doesn't make you Tammy Baker. <laughs> Forget it, Blanche. I'm not going to kill myself because you have the hats for some guy in a fancy car. Dorothy, Larry is very important to me. You picked him up at a gas station. <laughs> he must have been impressed with your spare tire. <laughs> I cannot believe you are doing this to me. And I can't believe that you are so selfish. Here, pussycat. Drink this. It'll make you feel better. Oh, Ma, another hot toddy. I think I've had enough. Shut up and drink. <laughs> this is the fourth one. Ma, that's a lot of whiskey. I only put whiskey in the first one, then we ran out. Oh. The second and third were vodka. <laughs> no wonder my head is spinning. This one's part amaretto, part sambuca. That should kill everything. <laughs> Killed your father. <laughs> Dorothy? She's out cold. A fever takes a lot out of you. Come on, Sophia. Help me get her into the bedroom. I think she's comfortable here. Oh, all right. I'll just prop her up a little. Mike's not that particular. He just got out of prison. 